This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Squarespace. On this week's episode of Scientific Tuesdays, we're going to play with smoke. <coughs> Did you know if you cool smoke down below the surrounding air level, you can actually get a water-like effect? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today in some very simple steps. First, take a couple glasses or flasks, whatever you got laying around, and stick them in the freezer. Keep them in there while you're doing the rest of this stuff. Then grab some tin foil. You're also going to need some matchsticks. Place them all in there together. I'm using six here. This is a good amount of smoke. We're going to create a small tube, basically, and then put that smoke that emits into one of the glasses. So take your little tin foil here, stick a pen in the back, and roll up everything nice and tight. You're also going to need to close off the top, so tie it off because you don't want smoke coming out both ends. Make sure you get that really tight. Now let's take a look at how this is going to work exactly. So now I'll take a match and hold it up to where the match heads are. And after a few seconds, a plume of smoke will shoot out the back. What we want to do is capture that plume of smoke. So I've hooked the tube into a bottle. Now this is the bottle I just removed out of the freezer, so it is nice and cold. And the smoke will collect in there and quickly cool down. All right, now let's see what we get when we test it out. Now to understand why the smoke will pour out in this situation instead of just rise up, we have to think about it in a very simple way. When the density of an object is less than the density of its surroundings, it will rise. Think of a hot air balloon. When we heat the air inside, it rises up because the heat causes the molecules to expand and become less dense. Typically when smoke is emitted, it's already less dense than the surrounding air, so it rises up. Because we are cooling the smoke as soon as it is coming out, we're actually able to make it more dense and heavier than usual. This is why it pours out so easily. That being said, this is a cool project you can do at home with about 5 to 10 minutes of preparation. Once the glass is cold enough to your fingertips, it's probably ready to go. So here you go, nice pool of smoke to go swimming in. Thanks for tuning in this week. I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace. They are absolutely awesome. And if you want to get in contact with us, feel free to shoot an email to dylan at householdhacker.com. You know, let me know of any science experiments you want to see me try out. Or if you want to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, links are down there in the description. See you next time. Squarespace is awesome for anyone looking to create a blog, personal portfolio, or any kind of website. No matter what level of coding experience you have, Squarespace will provide you with the tools you need to create a high-end, complex website that is uniquely your own. And don't worry, if you come across any questions or issues, Squarespace also offers 24-7 support. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, which is awesome. So make sure you check out squarespace.com if you want to learn more. And when you check out, enter the code SCIENCE and you'll get 10% off the lifetime of your order.